So this show was conceptualized by my sister. Uh, she told me that it's my 40th year in the fashion business and at the same time it's my 60th birthday. So when she asked me what kind of gift do you want, I told her that, uh, you know, I want to have this celebration wherein I can gather all my clients, my clients, my friends, my supporters in one event. So I think this is it. And uh, basically, I want to do this for a good cause. You know, you will never go wrong with kindness. So it's, it's my turn of giving back. So that's why I have this uh, Philippine Tourette Syndrome Association as our beneficiary for this show. I'm very passionate in everything I do. I make it a point to give my 100% in every piece of apparel that comes out of the shop. I even tell my staff every time that uh, whenever we do a piece of clothing, it has to be very special because I always treat each client very special. My design philosophy is, runs parallel with uh, the philosophy of Balenciaga that uh, for you to be a good designer, you have to be a good architect for construction, a good painter for colors, and uh, a good engineer in putting them together. I remember my during my high school days some of my teachers would scold me for not listening to the lessons they are teaching because uh, they will always catch me sketching and sketching all the time so I think when I was in my 10th year to 16th year of age I think I'm going to be um, fashion designer although I have this um, also a, a dream of teaching you know teaching someday I can do it probably in a fashion school I want to impart knowledge I'm inspired with so many things. I'm inspired with the um, things that are beautiful. I'm inspired by the beautiful things created by God. The mountains, the flowers, the birds, all of these things. I am inspired by music, by the people I meet, how they move, how they interact with other people. I'm inspired with so many things. This is very memorable, this is very touching. I remember an old lady, a grandmother, um, coming to our shop for her granddaughter's uh, 18th birthday. She asked me if I can make a gown for her granddaughter. So after sketching, and while the granddaughter was there beside us, the grandmother told me, Oh, Mr. Morabe, how much is the gown for my granddaughter? And I told her, um, Five na lang po. My, my fault is not uttering five thousand po. I just told her, Five na lang po. I do I have to give a down payment? She told me, Of course, mom, half of it you will you have to give. Then after that, opening her 
purse, her wallet, uh, she placed 250 pesos in my table. And I don't want to say to my dismay, but I was really shocked. I told her, oh, Lola, it's 5,000 for the gown of your granddaughter. Oh my goodness, hindi namin kaya. Paano ba ito? So, you know what I did? I The sketch I did for her granddaughter, I gave it as a gift. I told her, ito ang bagay sa'yo, ito ang ipagawa mo kahit kanino ka magpagawa. Ito ang ipagawa mo. Dahil ito ang bagay sa'yo. You know, if I remember this thing, iiyak talaga ako. Because, after 10 years, she came back to me. She's, she's an accomplished girl. And she kept the design I gave her. And asked me if I can still make her wedding gown. I'm really touched by this girl, and then she's very accomplished now. I see myself still doing clothes very special clothes for very special people, especially those close to my heart, those who have stayed with me for the last 40 years. I am so thankful to our Almighty Father for the last 40 years and forever grateful to my clients, my patrons, my supporters for allowing my hands to create the art in my mind.